It has just gone 8 o'clock Central African time. Good evening and welcome to the news bulletin at 8. Brought to you by Swatten TV. My name is Sane Boingon alongside Zaman Zimanze. Thank you so much for choosing to stay with us. We're coming to you live from our Hospital Hill Studios in Babane. And these are your top stories tonight. His Majesty King Imswati III says claims that the Kingdom of Eswatin is undemocratic, unfounded and very unfortunate. His Majesty King Imswati III has implored Maswati to make good use of social media. And His Majesty King Imswati III has urged the nation to declare hallelujah in every corner of the Kingdom. And now the news in detail. His Majesty King Imswati III says claims that the Kingdom of Eswatin is undemocratic, unfounded and very unfortunate. His Majesty has implored all Maswati to be truthful and sincere in all their dealings for the benefit of the Kingdom. His Majesty was addressing the nation when he officially launched the Reconstruction Fund. In the event, 342 million Malangin was donated by various companies and business people. The launch was organized at Mandulo Grand Hallway. His Majesty was in the company of a Makosigati. The torrential violence that erupted in the country between late June and early July reversed years of its economic progress and set it on a costly path to recovery. You would think that His Majesty King Emswati III was launching a fund that would fast track Eswatini's development goals since the event was held on Independence Day. But alas, the reality is that the event was about counting the cost and mapping the way forward to resuscitating the country's already fragile economy. When His Majesty announced the reconstruction fund, he stated that the cost of rebuilding destroyed infrastructure was in the region of 3 billion Malangeni, and that government had committed 500 million Malangeni to kickstart it, and the king rallied the nation to work together towards reaching the 3 billion Malangeni target. The business community, Eswatini's development partners and diplomats gathered to witness His Majesty launch the fund and also to witness His Majesty appreciating those who contributed towards it. His Majesty the King received donations from the private sector and parastatals who contributed towards the fund. Taking the lead was the Republic of China on Taiwan with a kind donation of 330 million Malangeni. Since the country was celebrating Independence Day, His Majesty implored the nation to follow the example of past kings who promoted peace and dialogue. The king refuted claims that Eswatini is not a democratic country. Now, if democracy equals a majority rule, democracy speaks of the majority that rule. It speaks of enjoyment of the support I, of the masses. I, I, it does not speak about enjoying of fire. It does not speak of lies. It does not speak. Of, of 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 certain tricks. It speaks of the masses that come after you. Now the majority band, you don't need him If you have got the majority of people, there's no need to burn fires. You do not need to even start telling lies. For those that love democracy, even the teachers of democracy, as if we do not love democracy, we love democracy in the kingdom. It's democratic. His Majesty the King said democratic values do not promote anarchy and destruction of property and then dialogue while the country burns. The King invited business people who were affected by the anarchy that gripped the country to submit their requests in order to benefit from the fund. For all those that were affected, Hospitals, schools, uh, communities, Tingunda centers, business people, cars, small businesses. So they've nothing to account for. Even the informal sector people are complaining of their market words that were taken away.
There is quite a hefty damage that was made. So, bong ke la bo bantu be gune ne si temba bo gusi nglo na lo uta wenda ema submissions ak. We do hope that everyone will bring their own submissions. Ema industries and various industries as well. Dito lo shops. The damages that they suffered or incurred. We are hoping that today an answer is present. His Majesty thanked those who contributed towards the fund and stated that donations will be open for the next three years with the target of one billion in each year. The first phase will focus on rebuilding infrastructure such as schools, hospitals, chiefdoms, and other key drivers of the economy. The Prime Minister Cleopas Lamini thanked His Majesty for establishing the fund and said His Majesty has always demonstrated leadership that prioritizes the nation. He was backed by Chief Gasa Wangwane, who spoke on behalf of chiefs, while the Minister of Commerce, Industry and Trade, Mangoba Kumalo, informed the king that government will ensure that those who lost their jobs will be re-employed once the companies where they were employed are up and running again. The business community was represented by Lincoln Mota and Grace Mkwanazi, who both hailed His Majesty the King for the fund. On the news, I'm Sandy Lamakanya reporting at Manvulo Grand Hall at Lozita. His Majesty King Imswati the third has implored Amaswati to make good use of social media. Now, the king says it is discouraging to note that a lot of people spend too much time on social media, yet they have nothing to show for it. The social media, if we social media, we social media. We must also look into how we use social media. social media by advantage. Many people that use social media use it for the benefit and advancement of humanity. We are happy to see Emaswati in technology today. We must learn how to use social media for our advantage. social media. At times, I take time to look what social media is obtaining. I ask myself at times when I see the content and wonder what benefit does it bring in advancing that particular person. So now, we will see all those hours. Social media, but now to Abuga, what value has it added? And Bill and Tabu, Kanja was a good day in Nanga Kulu. For many that spend hours and hours on social media, you don't see the value added in their lives because of that long stay. Umsaba Nawaka is social media. When people formulated the social media platforms, for communication. It was meant to information is to find information readily available easily and market yourself easily. These are things and aspects that we must learn. In social media, we are against social media. We are not against social media. But we are saying we go see social media. To our advantage. But we must learn how to use it for our advantage. If I may make an example in other nations, they spend those hours with social media. They spend hours with social media. Looking into money markets. Now when the money market is in the money there is quite a lot of money in the money market. Sometimes out in the financial institutions. You do not need to also to go to financial institutions. Money traders, money traders. They have also coined themselves as money traders. Being a 
money trader, you make a lot of money. They are using e social media. They use social media. Push us logo they are using e social media to their advantage. By a seventy second, we also learn this as well. His Majesty King Mswa the Third has urged the nation to declare hallelujah in every corner of the kingdom. Speaking during the launch of the reconstruction fund, His Majesty said the nation should stay focused and never look back. Hallelujah. the launch of the reconstruction fund his majesty king mswati the third delivered a message from god to a maswati but before communicating the message his majesty led the gathering in song Majesty says, as the country engaged in a prayer and fasting service two weeks back, whereby the nation prayed for peace and healing, God has had the nation. His Majesty King Mswati III urged the nation to declare hallelujah everywhere in the kingdom for the next month. God is saying the entire places of the kingdom. In the last message God has given me today, it says in every place the Maswati must write Hallelujah. for the one month, Hallelujah. Don't get things how. Wherever we are, we must write Hallelujah. Wherever we are. Now we are even more than one month. We are If you will extend beyond a month. That will be great indeed. So, From On the news, Hallelujah. I'm Polile Mazia at Mandulo Grand Hall, Lozita Palace. Um. As a Swatini today marks 53 years of independence from British colonial rule, government spokesperson Sabelo Lamini says the kingdom has achieved impressive development milestones in these years. Our reporter, Tlingwen Lovu, has more on that story. On the 6th of September in 1968, Eswatini gained its independence from Great Britain. Government spokesperson Zabelo Lamini says as the Kingdom of Eswatini celebrates 53 years of independence from colonial rule, the country has recorded significant development milestones. <laughs> long <laughs> Despite Eswatini having reached significant development milestones, the government spokesperson admits that the country still needs to address many prevailing challenges. Um, 
Jungabanji COVID 19 and aspects of the expose that into the name the temple of the bed setting a film segash. A Bayabasho go Nagutsum Shognel film near Magban a silver lining. The COVID 19 saying the good see a temple of Tanguan, the clean and the bed cleaning are you making a year 2019 and Kalaga 2020. Oh, meaning them come who meant the good to me sale. A good see a little people in Guanyam. Look to impel a mass at young. It took a mass at young, but that took a full man to get in the letter to us again. A good slow when they the government spokesperson emphasizes that for development to be truly successful and sustainable, the people of Eswatini need to be united and all differences resolved amicably. For Eswatini TV News, thank you in love with Mbonga Dube Etlo Zeta. Chairperson of the Ndondozi Constituency Water Development Committee, James Sweller, says even though the community's 3 million water scheme, which was launched in 2013, has successfully serviced over 400 homesteads, yet there have been many challenges over the years. Sweller shared the scheme's successes and challenges in an annual meeting that was held in the area. The four communities currently benefiting from the micro projects financed water projects include Mashabatini, Gutvula, Sibovu, and Donzam Lomo. Water Committee Chairperson James Siwela says one of the big challenges in this project is that of high electricity costs as water is drilled from the ground and pumped with an electric pump. In the scheme set, I think in Swaziland we are the lowest in terms of payments. It costs 8 to 20 litres a day, which we pay something like Lilangen for just that day, the quota will be eight to two to So, logo when the logo would see the running cost are high in terms of maintenance because umo patalele o maleyo or per 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 day that means in a month is third to malangen and lo third to malangen you can't go to see but shortcomings in terms of because we pay something like 6,000 per, per month. To try and resolve the high electricity units cost, the Water Committee has in the recent past explored ways of diversifying into solar energy. But such plans have been put on hold as experts say transforming to solar energy could be very costly. For Eswatini TV News, Lengi Wendlov with Mbonga Dube, it's Ndondozi. The Ministry of Economic Planning and Development's Micro Projects Unit has helped construct a new kitchen at Ndonduzi Catholic Primary School, which will benefit over 500 pupils. This is an update given by the school committee chairperson, Rosemary Temba. The old kitchen at Ndondozi Primary School is now dilapidated as the roof and walls are falling apart. The state of the old kitchen now poses a threat to pupils and those who cook, as it is suspected the building might collapse at any time. It is for this reason that the school approached micro projects for financial assistance for construction of a new kitchen. School committee chairperson Rosemary Temba says freshly cooked nutritious meals have become a daily necessity for most pupils. She says with the new kitchen now being near completion, mills will be guaranteed every day as the infrastructure is secure. Kune bantana la banye basuka kashanya na ngale bondutula. She says some learners from the school come from distant communities as they walk long distances to and from school. She says it is very sad that mostly these children travel on empty stomachs. Micro projects not only helped the school with a new kitchen, as the school also received septic tanks and wash stations from the same unit. For Eswatini TV News, Lengi Wendlov with Mbonga Dube at Ndondozi. The Eswatini Investment Promotion Authority says Eswatini should change from importing goods and services to exporting them. Now, the company says. 
This can be done in different ways, which include local companies registering for the free online shopping platform by Aswatini.com. IPA says this will expose or expose local companies to international markets and decrease operation costs. In times where COVID-19 has spread like wildfire, causing movement of people to be restricted and business activity to be low, the Swatini Investment Promotion Authority has encouraged business owners to register their companies for their e-commerce platform. This platform, known as buyaswatini.com, helps businesses to work in a different and improved way, as explained by IPA trade manager Bongani Changase. Changase says registration is free and advantages of using it include cutting floor space by more than 50% and replacing business expansion with diversification without massive capital injection. IPA domestic trade manager Sipesi Nkabinze explains how many companies are already using the online platform and what feedback they have received from them. South Africa, Botswana, Bokinia, Bandla, Bashola, Osana, Paya, Swatin, Opetseni, and then my products in Lacona, Kona, Ila, Bangakona, Utena, Evinda, and Guan. Iba says Eswatin is economy is a net exporter of goods by a very small margin and they want it to comfortably be a net exporter in full consideration of all imports in goods and services. For Iswatini TV News, Temgosi Mavimbela, Mbabane. Welcome back. Now we take a look at news making headlines in the world of sports. The Swatin Cricket Association Secretary Musa Twala says even though there are technical challenges, but the national team or the national women cricket team is ready to compete in the upcoming ICC Women T20 Qualifiers Games to be played in Botswana. Now the team will depart on Tuesday this week. On Tuesday this week, the women's cricket national team will depart the country to take part in the ICC Women's T20 World Cup qualifiers to be held in Botswana. The Swatin Cricket Association Secretary Musa Trara says the team is physically and tactically ready to compete. We have the obviously, we have the tournament so it help us to go select the team so we are challenges but says i that covid then we've got to test we've got to make a team ready uh, some of the players who are part of the traveling squad assured Emaswadi that they will represent the nation well in Botswana. Um, the team spirit is fine. Uh, I like how united the team is. Even though we might have a few hiccups there and there, but uh, those, are, those are the things that slalang at pass then stick discuss. It's really nothing much. We really are a good team and we are going to get far. Because after the tournament, I don't know if you can if we can win, at least maybe number two, we can win section eight for Yabo, section A or B, then Stockholm, Australia for the World Cup. 
The team is in Group A together with the host nation Botswana, Zimbabwe, Rwanda and Tanzania. And their first game is on test day this week against Botswana. Reporting for Swatini TV Sports, I'm Linda Lamini in Malkens. Newly elected Manzini Regional Poor Association Chairman Menzi Bembe says the new committee will have to find ways of generating revenue for the association as currently their coffers are empty. Bembe was speaking after he was elected chairman of the association at Bosco Primary School in Malkans. Pool is one of the fast growing sports in the Manzini region. The Manzini Pool Association over the weekend held its elections where Manzi Bembe was elected as the association's new chairman. Bembe says the new committee will have to find ways of generating revenue for the association as currently their coffers are empty. Oh, what qualifies financially? The financial uh, system, uh, I think it's in a good say, say, Bembe says the newly elected committee's priority is to find ways of generating revenues for the association as the outgoing committee financial report indicates that the association does not have funds. They said so. Mm. So, we are going to see in Jongoye to Lenghulu, Funaga, Sikbuka Kulu logo. The newly elected committee include the chairman Menzi Bembe, Secretary Musa Tlamini, Treasurer Tulan Tlamini, and two members Solomon Shome and Lucky Gunene. Reporting voice at NTV Sports, I'm Linda Lamin in Malkans. Well, Swatin, that brings us to the conclusion of our news bulletin at 8 at Swatin TV. But before we go, here's a quick reminder of our top stories tonight. His Majesty King Mswatu III says claims that the Kingdom of Eswatin is undemocratic, unfounded and very unfortunate. His Majesty King Mswatu III has implored Maswati to make good use of social media. And His Majesty King Mswatu III has urged the nation to declare hallelujah in every corner of the Kingdom. Beautiful Kingdom of Eswatin, that's a wrap of our news bulletin at 8 at Eswatin TV. Thank you so much for choosing to stay with us. We shall cross over to the Weather Center for a detailed weather report from us and the rest of the transmission crew at Eswatin TV for now. It's good night and God bless.